Hello and welcome to campus. I'm Scott Atwell, president of the FSU Alumni Association, and it's great that we can meet again in this venue to get you caught up on all the great things happening at your Alumni Association. I can tell you fall is definitely in the air. The humidity is dropping, the excitement is rising, and every day seems to be one of those iconic autumn days that you remember about your alma mater. We got it started in the most traditional way with the 62nd edition of the Kickoff Luncheon, all 62 brought to you by the FSU Alumni Association. Well over a thousand fans on hand to watch Tommy Wright direct the fight song that he wrote in 1950. The fans dining with players and coaches, Jim Bowfisher delivering the State of the Seminole address, and ample servings of FSU pride served up throughout the arena. Seminole Gym, Alumni Association, lifetime member. And what a great event. I mean, all the enthusiasm, all the positive remarks, Jimbo Fisher's address. I mean, I'm ready to go out and tackle somebody. I don't know who or what. Let's go Knowles. Now, later that weekend, President Barron invited the freshman class to his backyard for a barbecue, and boy, did they RSVP. Thousands pouring in after convocation on a glorious afternoon of fellowship and fun. Each freshman wearing a specifically colored shirt to identify their academic college providing the chance to make friends with fellow classmates and even their own dean. The FSU Student Alumni Association is proud to be a presenting sponsor of this extraordinary event. It gives the students an opportunity to you know, meet their deans and kind of get that relationship started early in their four years here at Florida State. You know, you're a student today, an alumni tomorrow, but you're going to be a Seminole for the rest of your life. So we want them to, you know, feel that in their hearts that, you know, they this is really their family here. By the way, our Student Alumni Association was also proud to present each of those freshman students with a brand new copy of the Seminole Experience book, which outlines the great history and traditions these freshmen are inheriting. Now included in the group of freshmen are four Alumni Association Legacy Scholarship recipients. The out-of-state students coming from as far as Anchorage and as near as Valdosta receiving $2,000 each. The in-staters are from Sebring and Palm Beach Gardens earning a $1,000 award. The Alumni Association recently started this Legacy Scholarship program. It's the only one on campus for children, grandchildren, and siblings of FSU alumni. From our youngest alumni to our most experienced, the Alumni Association's Emeritus Alumni Society gathered last month to put an exclamation mark on an extraordinary project, a state historical marker recognizing the long-forgotten West Campus, the old Dale Mabry Air Base, five miles from the main campus, that was home to the men when FSU became co-educational in the late 40s. West Campus is not only where the men lived, it's also where they practiced and played the first intercollegiate athletic programs. It's also where the first FSU circus was performed. Now the site will be forever remembered with this historical marker. I think it is giving them a part of ownership. It's giving them pride to talk about it. Many before have not told their children about it. And it's an opportunity to share those memories. One week later in that same alumni ballroom, a new class inducted into the Alumni Association's Circle of Gold. More than 200 alumni and friends have been so honored since 1993 for their good deeds, both for FSU and beyond. This year's class includes Rhodes Scholar and NCAA track champion Garrett Johnson, former business dean Ray Solomon, Alumni Association chairman-elect Gordon Sprague, and former alumni chair and South Florida judge Don Stone. The circle of gold has made my life complete. Florida State is the best there is in this nation. I'm proud to be a member of the circle of gold. Now that ceremony was preceded by an alumni open house, which takes place at the Alumni Center on the Friday of every home football game weekend. Come on by for food, fellowship, and fun, and get your football weekend started in Seminole spirit. Come up and see the tradition here, uh, see what this place is like, just feel what it a uh, home away from home is like, it's a great place to be. September football came to a close in Tampa with what was arguably a home game for the Seminoles. Our alumni coming out in numbers for a game day coffee chat with President Eric Barron, who was introduced by former Heisman Trophy winner Chris Winkie. Later in the day, a few hours before the kickoff with the University of South Florida, a pregame event hosted by our Seminole Club of Tampa. Our hats are off to all the volunteers in Tampa for rolling out the red carpet and being a most gracious host. And finally, a special moment for the Alumni Association's ambassador, beloved professor Tommy Wright, who was accorded an honorary doctorate of music during the summer commencement exercises. You know, Professor Wright spent 58 years in the classroom teaching more than 59,000 FSU students. And instead of the traditional commencement address, Professor Wright delivered something more memorable 
by playing the FSU fight song that he wrote in 1950. Before I go, three final points. If you're not a member of the FSU Alumni Association, please join today and get your friends to join. When alumni are connected, FSU is strengthened. Secondly, please join our Advocate for Florida State program. So when FSU needs alumni voices on an issue, we can quickly marshal your support. You can join online at advocateforfloridastate.fsu.edu. And finally, it's time again to put out a call for nominations to serve on the FSU Alumni Association's National Board of Directors. Information is elsewhere in this e-newsletter, including an online application. That's going to do it for this edition of Alumni Update. On behalf of the 300,000 FSU alumni around the world, I'm Scott Atwell. Thanks for joining us. Go Knowles!